Welcome to another episode of the Youth Cafe. My name is Evelyn and we're doing this from Bible Way Ministries Kilifi. Uh, so it's it's been long by the way since we did this. So just check out our older videos on our channel at MPC Kilifi. Uh, today we'll be talking about trusting in God in hard times as a believer. So as usual, this is a show targeting uh, the young people and just we just share real life experiences as we build each other up in our work as believers. I'm joined by two amazing guests uh, as we did discuss this topic and also share our personal experiences so karibuni sana our guests to the youth cafe uh, we go through many hard times as i believe as, as as believers like just being a believer itself is it's hard ukizaliwa it's like unanzanga <laughs> tumashida tu ukizaliwa just working hard uh, then we have tough economic times every time it seems to be getting tougher every year every month it seems to get, to be getting tougher uh, job search is hard even school is harder um, late or no salaries for those working uh, sudden death is becoming so common prolonged sicknesses we have all these troubles that that happen i mean the list is endless uh, so i'd like to welcome we have queen lisa here and we have queen anne here and i'd like to and uh, I just welcome you to just share your personal experiences in a time that you had to trust in God in a hard time. And yeah, sometimes my name is I feel could give up, but yeah, let's 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 learn something. So welcome, Queen Lisa. My name is Queen Lisa, a student at Kabarak University, taking my diploma in information technology. I will be joining third year in September. So in this life we go through a lot of many hard times. For me, I will only speak of one hard time that I faced when I was in high school, form four. Form four is not easy. Hey, tunapigwa pressure kunze na walimu bana. Hey, bana. Hey, that was really, really hard. So for me, I never used to read a lot in high school. Likuwa sisomi sana. I wasn't really a great performer, but also pia mi mwenye likuwa sisomi. So like you know, the like years or week is when we were doing the KCC, I remember as a class every Sunday we used to meet up the Muslims and the Christians and we'd have a session where we'd pray, we'd kneel down and pray to God. I think even that time I did experience the Holy Spirit for the first time in my life. It was really nice getting to pray every Sunday for like KCC, knowing that I was not reading a lot. So like I was like praying my heart is about to mungu jamani, hey jamani, God just just I just need C plus only. But later I did my KCC, I got my grades, I was really happy with the grades I got, I really thanked God. So when you pray to God, like even though you have not been committing to God, but when you pray with, to Him with a willing heart, pouring out your troubles and also thanking Him, you'll get what you ask for. Thank you. To see some, to see what kind. Misome, misome. You know yourself, if you don't read, you'll fail. But you should incorporate God in everything you do. Yes, that's all I'm saying. And you had something else to add? Yeah, I would love to say that. You know, most of the people, they are like, when you pray, God will do it. And they forget to put action. So I feel like most of us in our age, we only rely on God doing it instead of us putting action and then involving God. So. I think that Lisa, you also did your part whereby you read and then God took part. But why? But Nezasema, love no quick and more effort on it. Yes. Probably the results would have been better. Oli, 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 Welcome, Queen Anne. Please share your personal experience on this topic. I'd love to share my story. This was when I was in class three back then in 2011. Uh, my parents moved from Shago to the urban setting that was in Kiambu. By then, like, I was really brought up in a village life. Like, I never knew Kiswahili and English. So, <laughs> I joined a primary school. Back then, it was called the Goto Model. Then, I did first my interview, whereby they, did, they only gave me a math paper and an English paper. I passed the mathematics paper, but the English paper, it was an average. So, I got an access. So I had so many challenges. I never knew how to speak in English, Kiswahili. 
so the students like wal kwa nani cheka wangekuja niulize what's your name like sasa siji wanani like they're speaking it was so foreign singe joani same nini so i used to cry i used to hate school it was not good i tried even the teachers i can remember there was one teacher who to mention her name she used to provoke me she would call me during games time she speak to me in english and you know CLA so i really feel intimidated it was during that time we had to do the exams i was not that much nini i was not much that much courageous that i'll perform or i'll do better cuz it was hard coping with the, the students were not friendly to me like how akwa nanifanya ni feel i'm worth being there i was feeling like we were to at ujui so like it was hard we did the exams kafanya exams and results vile zile toka i can say before god i was that last in class <laughs> i was that last man so the yani kupata marafiki ilikuwa ngumu so it was a challenge to me i'll feel like i i don't belong here we went home during december that was that time december holiday we broke up When I went home, I really thank my dad wherever he is. He bought me so many books to revise the hard questions. So every day I would fill up the answers. I would go for tuitions. And when we came back, that was in class 4 2012, we did the exams and surprisingly, I did much better than like the opposite of it turned because I remember I was position 7 in class. I'd really done well. And sometimes, okay, I went on with the same process and the teachers were like so this when him toto tuneza saidia asaidike and I became friendly I was among the best went to class 5 and don't forget back then in form in class 3 like was the students all kind of treat like hata nikiomba rusa prefect ya kuomba book na nyimwa like I I made our friends I had so many then nikapata kwanza kupata marafiki we used to tuna participate pamoja in games my favorite ball being basketball yes in high school yeah i remember akina grace jackie and gadoni and joyce tunapenda kucheza like bell to the moment it rings cv akili ko angel like you see so like we, we became friends to kendela kwa mabeshe i i made a lot of friends even in the other outer classes Then when I was in class 5 I was promoted to be a prefect. Oh man. I had to revenge back then in class in class 3. So like I was revenging all. I could sit down pretend I'm not writing noise makers, I'll write them. And then when it's time for me to punish them, ninges ninges mama tu. Kama unajua uliongea si mama. Kama unajua kuongea keti and then I, people stand they, they used to fear me people stand others they refused to wangekacha kutoka so una unasikia tu list this and this start they will kneel the cold rain <laughs> for a whole 40 minutes and i'll feel happy yes Like I never knew what I was doing. I was just revenging in 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 yani ni kwa tunaski uchungu. So like I felt I would revenge. I never knew that as in it was not godly way. Thank you Queen Lisa and Queen Anne for sharing your tough experiences. I think we am get one be athronzino zi kwafi. I mean queen and queen. Huh. <laughs> anyway, uh so back to the topic and it's also interesting you reminded me pay me remind you kwa hivyo like moving places and then like you're shrubbing and people are like what planet are you from no one wants to play with you no one wants to want to wants to be your friend anyway topic for another day uh, so in hard times uh, sometimes like mimi nikiwa kwa hard time sometimes i felt like maybe it's not about me or understanding why is this happening or how and sometimes nataka to like nataka ishe haraka i want to get out of it as fast as possible and many times tunajuliza by the way am i going through this and i've learned sometimes whether it's not even about something we've done or we've not done uh it's ni good to anataka kutufunza kitu out of it and we just need to let him and and just go through that to the end uh and 
sometimes pia tunataka we want to be in control of things i want to know i can provide for myself i can provide for my family i can pass my exams i can do all these things now yet god and ataka we surrender and just let him be in control and sometimes we've done all we know how to do if it's a business you've advertised you've done everything you need to do come on your job you've done everything we need to do and yet hatuna pesa hakuna income hakuna salary and you've done everything we need to do na yet god anataka we trust in him uh, to provide and it's easy to think you know it's my job that provides for me for my food and pays my bills it's it's so easy and i mean economy kenya is hard so like if you don't have a job and and someone else has a job like there's a big difference but really it's god who's providing through that job and uh it could be also we're going through trouble uh, so for example not having money cuz god and attack to funza something out of it or maybe we've even made money riches property an idol so god is just calling us back to himself and sometimes you can't even find by the way am i lacking why did this person die why am i going through this sickness it's 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 hard to know and like mimi kwa familia yangu there are times like Everything actually from when from 2019 our entire marriage yes we've not had much but every day we've had enough to eat we've had a roof of our our heads and ni god to mazi ni god also to confirm this like juicy to nili kwa kwa fellow flyni uh upper church and like guys by they have not had salaries like from jan to april na uja no kona familia and yet kila siku mlikula watoto wako bado walienda shule you know it's it's just crazy i, I don't know how to explain it but like god name faithful anyway and i pray that our jobs our wealth our skills our brains our connections will not become an idol by taking the place of god for provision and safety and sometimes it feels like god am is how eh my second day this year it's been hard for us and it feels like hey god but you know come okay you say you're our father you'll still you provide for us you'll protect us you know like umesota alafu uibiwe you know at least we be we we be ukiwa na kakitu unajua tazi hizi nimepoteza hii but i have something in the bank or in the house you know yeah it's 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 so hard mazi uh, so he hears us every time that we call that's first john 5:15 he sees every tear that's psalms 56 verse 8 just i'm paraphrasing just read the verses uh kivyako and psalms 139 it's a chapter that really kila satu wena nishtua and like he knows everything that's gonna happen even before it happens he know at exactly what time we'll stand from this chairs he knows where we are going like he knows even when you're going to the toilet be be scorned or discouraged by people and it's hard so bad especially when it's your close friends or your blood family it's so any anaona wewe haufanyi kitu akili yako haifanyi kazi it's it hurts so bad lakini let's let's trust in this god and as i conclude hard as it may be god's ways are higher than ours god's thoughts are higher than uh, than ours that's isaiah 55:8 to 9 and he may not so the trouble right now or maybe he'll sort it faster sometimes it takes so long sometimes it, it seems to stay for the whole of our lives but let's let's seek to trust him no matter how long your trouble in atusumbua let's let's just keep on trusting him alone and that is a good good father even when he doesn't look like he's still a good good father like especially like when someone dies like eh hey, it hurts me so bad it, it, it doesn't look like eh hapa mazia uko fair like sasa mbona ulichukua ako kato you know ungechukua kimwizi flani you know or some crazy politician and anyway let's just even when it doesn't make sense let's keep trusting him that he's a good good father and he's still working for good in all these cares and have a lovely week goodbye